Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are back for some more Pathfinder Kingmaker in Unfair and Last Aslanti. We are in the Sepulchre of Forgotten Heroes. We just finished this entire area. The only thing I'm left to do is to actually, I believe, loot the place. As I don't think we did. Yeah, okay. We have some stuff to loot. This is going to be the exit. We have spoken with the defaced sister. We have a check over there. We're going to get that in a second. Perception check succeeded. What was the difficulty? 12. Okay. Did it without breaking it. Let's actually see if there are more. Perception checks. Before we go into these places. Nothing here. Ah, oh, good. Nothing over there. Let's sing once more. Nothing over here. I think this is the last one. Yeah, last one. Okay. This here... I don't remember if this is a door, actually. I don't think it is. Sorry, it's been a few days since I've... <laughs> since I did the last episode. I'm just kind of catching up to what I was doing. Okay, so not much going on. We just have to pick up some stuff, pass this knowledge world check over here, and we are good to go. So, let's sing for Juby. Let's bless him. Yes. You can thank me now. Remember death, for death always remembers you. A lot of death going on here. Or going around here. This is locked. So, knock, knock. As hard as I can. I did it. Good job. I did. Battle axe plus three. Light shield plus three. A plus three light shield does not sound bad. Four AC versus five AC. Okay, yes, no. Not good enough. This is what we picked up. The Cyclops Incense Burner. A suit covered incense burner in the shape of an, a one-eyed skull. This was what the, um, the face sister gave me. A lot of stuff to sell. Pad armor plus three. Never, nobody's going to use it. Stop fidgeting. And this is just whatever. All right, we have the ornery. <laughs> plus five on all ability skill checks. Composite longbow. Yeah, okay, so I think we have we have seen all of the new stuff. Let's go. Now, if I remember right, we have cleared two of the three main areas for this quest. The other one is further south. But I think I wanted to go to my barony for some kingdom management. Yeah, I think I talked about... I went over there, I came to see sell some stuff, and then I was gonna go this way to teleport the barony, and along the way I would also take care of this one. Yeah, I think that's what that was my plan. That was my plan. We are gonna claim this. Oh come on, why do you have to move so slow? Whoever implemented this slowness <sighs> I, I I would have some words I with, I will say. My powers. It doesn't add anything to the gameplay, in my opinion. Oh, time to get some rest, isn't it? <clears throat> if you want to make it so that... Um, if you want to make it so that the game conveys the idea that walking Maybe here is slower, then, then just know. make time pass quicker. Don't slow down the game for the player. It's not enjoyable watching them drag along the way. So we have 49 BP, let's take it. Go over here. Hopefully we can get some good stuff from um, from our artisans. My strength retreats. We are already fatigued again. Uh Tustail accept. 
Enter. Uh, throne room. Okay, nobody came coming to speak to me. Let's turn off that wand. Check out our events. Triumph. Good. These are still ongoing. The intruder. I don't have an advisor for this yet. I still need to level up my barony a little bit further. No, I didn't. <clears throat> I must replenish Did not my want powers. to do that. I think the other events I don't have anybody f I do have them. Okay, cool. 65%. Take one. And these are occupied. No advisor available. In terms of projects, we have rank ups. Divine protection, lay the foundation, blah, blah, blah. I could train Octavia. 50 BP, don't even have enough for it. Okay. So, this is done. I am going to change something here because of how advisors work. So, I want to go to Octavia. And I'm going to give her my new helmet. That gives her some more intelligence. She will go up to 25. And we're going to go to Bartholomew. We're going to sell all of our crap. Check if anything is necessary here. Especially an emerald necklace. Turquoise pendant. Does not seem to be the case... Okay, and now what else we have? This can be sold, this can be sold. I still want those. This is a falcon or a falchion. It's not a bad weapon, but never gonna use it. This is worth 32,000, holy crap. I don't remember what Inspiring Recovery does. I'll have to see. <clears throat> this can go away. This can go away. This can go away. Okay. So, Inspiring Recovery. Oh, let me just level up this guy. Cleric. Um, what would I even want for you? It doesn't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to use them, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just checking if there would be anything that I might want. I guess spell penetration. Sure, go. Any other advisor that wants to level up? Tristian. Aha, good. Wisdom. And I believe that's all. <clears throat> I'm going to level Amelia up because she is going to need to play at some point. Though not much, but a little bit. Uh, this shouldn't really matter. Take Bless. And then for level 3, you can take Delay Poison Communal. And you can take Heroism, I suppose. Sure. Okay. So, let's go for the Storyteller. See if we can do something with these Cyclops coins and whatnot. Or maybe just get some money. Okay... 4,000 gold from the coins. Okay. No artifacts to craft yet. So we're going to rest. And we are going to head back. Did I change my spells on you? I did. Good. Let me just check here. 
Oh, right, 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 right. I have to talk with, um, with the brother. This is the thingy, this is the thingy, this is the thingy. We have 190 days. Okay. So, I want to go to the tavern. This is where I believe Tommy is waiting. With our great owl bear rug. It's quite awesome. I, I love this detail, honestly. Okay, take a look at this, um, at this letter. It's written to your family. I found it on a dead body lying in an ancient cyclops tomb. Edris grabs the letter eagerly and starts reading it line by line. Faded though it is with time. A tomb of cyclops. Looks like you shed light on one of the secrets of our family. The bones you found were the remains of my great-grandfather, Mathayan Envaki. We got 750 experience. Well, the picture's perfectly clear now. Oh, if only this ill-conceived letter had been lost to time. If my poor brother hadn't found it and been infected with this deadly craving for adventure. Well, your grace, today I'll leave for Gralton. The city in which, from this day on, you will have a loyal friend and ally. We got the Ring of Improved Proficiency. Don't remember what this is. And a new event, Research into the Curse of the Anvaki Family. Gives you a bow and leaves the room. So this quest is done. The Lost Brother. And he gave me... Ring of Improved Proficiency. Plus two deflection bonus to AC and plus one competence bonus on attacks. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. You have a plus two. You also have a plus two. So I suppose I would want Knock Knock to get this. Competence bonus on attack rolls. It's not showing here. I wonder if it only shows on the on the um, on the combat log. We'll have to see. I'm still using Tartuccio's present. Uh, no, thank you. Let's go for this one. <clears throat> oh right, I have to sell these breastplates. I forgot about those. Uh, can I sell it to you? I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh... oh, she wants something. I forgot about this. I think she wants an egg, the rock's egg, which we picked up in Talon Peak. Okay, I'll try and get you such an egg. I have that rock's egg. Aha! We have some coins, some eggs, owlbear egg and soft cheese. Awesome. Da, 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 da. Oh. What treats do you have? Yeah, rock's egg has been completed. She doesn't have anything that I want to purchase. I am going to sell, though, these breastplates, because I will never use them. Northern Lights. I will also never use this. Robe of Air, Robe of Consciousness. This can go away. Okay. And I will try and start stacking up on gold. Because we will need to <coughs> spin quite a lot of it soon. Okay, so where am I going here? I'm just gonna go for the last area. Okay, so let's exit. Take our characters. Now, we have 190 days before the next Bald Hilltop event. <clears throat> so I can actually just go and explore a little bit of these areas here before we continue, such as, for example, the Rotten Cave and the Precipice Trail. And since they are kind of on the way, I'm thinking about doing it right now. <clears throat> so teleport to Silvershire, and I'm going to check the wiki to see what these two have and see if I want to do them now or not, and I will be right back. Okay. So I checked the locations, I don't think any of them is going to be particularly dangerous, so we might as well just take care of it right now. We're going to start with the rotten... oh, come on already. Thankfully on this spot I can still look at my thingy. Okay, it's just this. No thank you, let's continue. Because this is still part of my barony, but this is no longer part of my barony. At least not yet. We're going to, we're going to get Varnhold. Um, in the somewhat near future, I guess. 
Okay, only one person is fatigued, so we're gonna fight like this. Okay, we are over here. Let's do our usual buffing routine. Oh. Give me a second, please. And I am back. Let's just wait for the... No, not your wand! Okay. <clears throat> Did not want to use my rod there, but... It's not that much of an issue. Okay, let's drink our mutagens, because why not? Let's remove fatigue. And continue buffing. Okay, let's go for Archon's Order. Has Juby finished? Juby has finished. So let's just haste this up. Okay, there's a cave here, but there's a way up as well. Okay, let's start going here. Ah, Primal Manticores. I'm listening. These seem to be hasted and also blurred. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do I have to bother with something here? I don't think so. Their AC is, let me see, 33. Should be fine. Let's sing and just charge. Okay, so you go there. I'm gonna send everybody else to that one. So they can keep busy with the leopard while we are killing that guy, and then we can charge those as well. Well, not charge, but run him. So you, you, and you. Shoot there. Turn that off. Go. Down. And dead. Okay. These are not the the main attraction here, I don't believe. These are mostly just for experience. And I get the feeling that there should be like some kind of perception item hidden around here, but I've either missed it or there just it doesn't exist. One of those options. And I feel like we're gonna have a portal into the first world for another one of those lonely barrow monsters. Let's see if memory serves. Okay. Seems to be correct. I'm gonna haste this up again. And I think this one is some sort of lightning area. So I'm gonna buff with resist electricity. And then my shortcut for the protection for some reason went away. So protection from electricity as well. And we can go in. I can see my destination. And I think we have to fight like one large enemy. <laughs> yeah, but there's lightning, thunder, thunder and lightning. <laughs> I do not appreciate the rain. And there is my main enemy here, Thundervine. This guy has 248 hit points, level 16, 10 fast healing, 41 AC. His will score is low. He has a poisonous aura, but we are immune to poison. Power attack, resistance to elements, immune electricity. Bellful Polymorph, Paralyzed, Sleep and Stun, but he can get dropped by, I mean, prone. Mind Affecting does not work. Okay. He does have... 
some reflex, not too much. I think maybe Jubilos can drop him. So we're gonna go over here. Can we charge from this side? No, we even lost sight of him, okay. Okay, I think we have to go all the way over here to charge. Yes. Okay, <clears throat> stop thundering my people. Uh, where is my haste? 38 seconds is more than enough. So what I wanted to do was I want to give Knock Knock Greater Invis, Regongar the same thing, and I want displacement on my Kitty Cat. So we are well defended and we can just charge on. <clears throat> or charge in, I should say. So you go, you go, you go, you go. All three of us go, you are bombing to reflex save him, or to make him save versus reflex. Uh, you are just shooting and I think I'm gonna go for empowered Scorching Rays. Because his touch AC is 19, let's see if we can bypass it. Okay, and he's dead. Didn't even get time to cast. What loot are you saving here? For 480 experience. Give me a good item, come on. Eh. Plus 5 and Menace Storm Light Hammer. It's a plus 2 Light Hammer with a plus 1 D6 Sonic damage. Grants me Sonic Resistance 10. I don't even know if there's Sonic damage in the game. I guess maybe some enemies can cast Shout. But I don't even remember a point where that was necessary. Oh well. Wait, this is a new area. Am I gonna exit in a different place? I wonder. Don't remember this. Dude. I will guide. What am I? I'm not gonna mess around. You require my assistance? Let me haste us back up. You start singing just in case. Because I don't remember what's... What's over here? Ow. 66 damage. Jesus. Oh, Oakenhide, poisonous manticore like Trent. All right, I see how this is. Uh, I don't think I need to heal. I, I guess I will heal a little bit. And you have pff, not not very long. Okay, so displace yourself. <clears throat> Great invis over there. <clears throat> you can go for a burst of glory. You are gonna use your focusing surge. I am yours to command. Um, I guess you can go for sense vitals. Keep your you. Okay, displacement on my leopard as well, please. Do you still have weapon enhancement? You do. Oops. Let's wait. Uh, sorry. Okay, displacement, okay, so let's extend haste on everybody. You can also get sense vitals. Our haste is still more than fine. Okay. So let's go for this. Mr. Leopard, charge in. Actually, uh, stop. <clears throat> Sing. Charge. Charge, 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 charge. Burst of Glory is done. Do I have any spell that I might want to use here? I guess I can go for a prayer. I will go for the same thing. Scorching Rays empowered and you are gonna try and drop him. I don't expect this to be too tough, but let's see. God damn it. <laughs> Forget what I said. 
Yubi No Okay um, Valerie, come here quickly Yubi, uh, we're gonna run away We are gonna run away Oh my god, he got tripped You utter Utter bitch <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's something. I wonder if he attacks more than once per round. One bite, one claw. <laughs> so we can actually just kill Juvi right here. If he crits. If he doesn't crit, I don't think he's gonna kill him straight up. But what would I do with Cordampina besides healing? I think I'll just heal. <clears throat> okay, you guys are occupied. 24 touch AC. I'll still try go for the Scorching Ray. And let's hope he doesn't go down, please. Come on, man. There goes second attack. Everybody is coming in. Good. Please, kill him. I think he got up. And as soon as he got up, attack opportunity, yeah, that's that's what happened. Uh, and this is how you lose someone really quickly. God damn it, man. I hate forgetting about these stupid ambushes. I swear, I really do. I really hate it. Okay, do I have diamonds? I have five diamonds. So, we're gonna get Ray's dead. We are going to bonded holy symbol on Ray's dead. And cast Ray's dead on Mr. Jubilost. I could have maybe also gotten him up. With, with Breath of Life. The thing is, this only works within two rounds, so if I actually wanted to use Breath of Life and I used, it, and I used my Arcane uh, Bond and the two rounds were up, it, it would just fail. So I'll just go for this. I think two rounds have passed anyway. So yeah, let's uh, resurrect him. And this is, this is why I always carry a couple of diamonds and a couple of raised dead scrolls because, you know, Stuff like this will happen. Come on, wake up. There so, you go. Any brilliant ideas? Together we stand. <clears throat> well, I am sad, but at the same time, we we had to rest because Knock Knock was fatigued. So, well, we, we lost one diamond. That's what we lost on this entire journey. Stupid Manticore, man. You've made your choice. Was it worth it though? Let's see. Black fur cloak. What do you do? Plus 10 competence bonus to all stealth checks and cold resistance plus 30. It's kind of similar to this one, isn't it? Ah, but it's worse. Immune to blindness and dazzling. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Oh, no, wait. That one, the Cloak of Shadows is a plus 10 enhancement bonus. This one is a competence bonus. So it, it could technically stack with other things. But since I don't have anything that gives me stealth anyway. <clears throat> this is a plus 5. This is arrows. This is a plus 5. You have your thingy, which I forgot to use. So I think we're good. Well, we can sell it at least. Our first death. I think it was our first death in the entire playthrough. And it was simply by getting caught off guard. I was successful in my search. Let's also be careful with this, please. I did it. There are many I did it. God, dude, where was the try? I just. <laughs> okay. 
I was about to say, I'm gonna sing so we can see traps a little bit better, and then I just step on it. Okay. Uh, let's buff you. Because I would like to get the experience from the traps. Okay, maybe you stay back and everybody else can go in. Okay, that's actually the last one. Now, I do wonder where we're gonna end up in the game world. Or in the world map, I should say. Because we came out a different end. Crooked teeth. I need to hmm. concentrate. Do I have enemies over here? I should check the wiki instead of blindly going through this, but I'm kind of invested right now. It seems to just be a portal. Okay, where am I? Let's see. If I'm too far away, I'm just gonna go back the same way I came in. <clears throat> yeah, I don't... Ugh. Okay, so going from here to there, or going from here to there... I'm just gonna uncover the way. Is this a... Um, a slow way? My strength betrays me. It's kind of like a not very slow way. Okay, I'll just go through here. Whatever. We should gather our strength. This section sucks. Okay, who isn't tired yet? Juby. Oh, because he got resurrected. <laughs> of course. Everything seems fine here. <clears throat> Before I do this, let me just swap my spells back. As I do not want this over here. I want... True Seeing... Okay, you have all your spells, right? Yes. Okay, so rest. Begin resting. Envoy Aldori is a cure. Enough. It's it's just so easy for a backline character to die, <clears throat> especially if he's someone that doesn't have mirror images. Mirror image really is like the best defensive spell you can get on a backline character for sure. Okay, so. <clears throat> I went here, I want to go there, so maybe if I go this way it's going to be quicker than walking around the, the mountains. I can also check this one out. Okay, give me a second, unfinished cleaning. Okay, I'm back. This seems to be a relatively safe area, so we're going to take care of it right now. I'm just trying to do this now so I don't have to backtrack later on. This way... We... Oh my god. <laughs> this, <laughs> this way we get everything sorted and I don't have to come back later. You know what? Uh, since I keep forgetting the armor, I'm just gonna give her this. So if I forget the armor, at least she gets a plus five from this one. I know it's stupid and it doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, take this off. Let's go for long duration buffs. And I think for this section, I'm not really gonna bother too much with all of the medium buffs. I'll just go for some of them. As I think this area only has wargs. Not to say that wargs are a joke, but I don't need a whole lot of stuff to fight them. For the most part, I feel like just shielding characters is gonna be enough. Like, I think this should be good enough, honestly. Uh, you can take this. <clears throat> and we are going to forget about this thing again. Haste up. Uh, you can activate that and you can go in. Do you have armor? Yes, thank god. This seems to be a dead end, okay. Without a doubt. 
Hmm. Not sure if I expect to be flanked out here or if it's only inside. I can see my destination. Okay, Alpha Warg from Dunsworth Pack. One damage reduction, 31 AC. I, I don't really think it's going to be much of an issue. I'm going to go for Dirge of Doom for Stinking Clouds. Uh, I do have the late poison. I'm actually going to start with that. I'm going to start with um, a heightened Stinking Cloud. So we can start the fight by having a debuff on top of our enemies. Perfect. So, you are disabled, you are not. And we have five enemies coming in. <clears throat> so everybody can stay over here. So, hold position. Leopard goes in. Jesus Christ. Hold position. Leopard goes in. No. Okay. I'm clearly not, not hitting the correct uh, shortcut, I think. Okay. That's not great. Let's start tossing some bombs in there. You can go there. Actually, you can go there. And there. And there. You can move up and get out a prayer. And I'm gonna get more stinking clouds. Because my leopard might go down somewhat quickly. And just for good measure, let me see. Disabled, disabled, not disabled, disabled, and disabled. Okay, so there's only a single guy up. I don't think I'm gonna bother with quickening another stinking cloud. I will just quicken a scorching ray, because why not? And have everybody focus on this guy here. Primitives. You you can cast prayer, sure, why not? And toss out like a controlled fireball. Okay, good. They are disabled, so I can kind of freely move. Fire Schneck. Good. These guys are actually tougher than I thought. Okay. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, level up. <coughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. How much were these worth? 135. Not nothing special, actually. I was just close to the limit, I suppose. Okay, what do you have? You have an enchantress cape plus one bonus to enchantment school spells DC. Decent. And the Punching Dagger plus two, which we're never going to use. We're going to sell it. Okay. Any kind of perception check around here? Don't believe so. Nope, we're fine. Don't hesitate. And... Well, looking at the time of the episode, I think I'm going to save my level up for the next episode. And hopefully we can get some more levels. Eh, seems unlikely. On other characters. Okay. Well, let me see. I'll decide if I want to do another, a level up in this episode or not. <clears throat> Since it's only my main character, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so we are here because we want to go there. Spider Lair. <clears throat> okay, let's check what this one has. Okay, so much as it would be expected, <laughs> it has spiders. Uh, I am going to pause the video. I'm going to look over my level up for my main character. And I'm going to come back and we're going to do the level up of this character. I will be right back. And I'm back. <clears throat> so, naturally, we are going to continue progressing through our Arcane Trickster uh, levels. We want to go to level 10 as soon as possible. So... Our choice here on the on the class selection is going to be on Arcane Trickster. 
In terms of skills, I went for another one in Persuasion. We want this to be as high as possible on my main character. And then I dumped the rest into Perception because I'm not really doing anything else with <coughs> all of my other ones. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, oops, sorry. Next up on Abilities. I get to choose again Spell Specialization as we do every single time. I had this on Fire Snake to deal some more damage, some more fire damage. But since I'm going to be picking up a new spell right now, I'm going to be taking Icy Prison. I will go over what this spell does in a second. In terms of spells, we get four new spell selections. For level 2, uh, there's not really anything particularly uh, relevant for us to take, to be quite honest. So I'm simply going to go for Burning Arc. This is a spell that's usually more useful and more... Um, interesting to use early on in the game, but at the same time, if I want to have some fire damage to deal in um, in a way that never misses, and it's party friendly and it only targets enemies, like you can select the target you want, deal some damage to him without missing, Burning Arc is a way to do that. On level 3, I'm gonna go for Displacement. Displacement is always something useful to have. I like having it on my main character pretty much always. We already have Fireball, Haste and Stinking Cloud. Our other choices here, I feel would be Slow being an awesome spell, but I would really only give this to someone that has Transmutation uh, spell focus. Resist Energy Communal is something that I will probably take in, a, in future levels, if I get more level 3 spells, which I think I will. Uh, this is a good choice to have on your sorcerer as well, because you will have many casts of resist energy, and you may want to have multiple ones at the same time. It's a good way to do it, by having a sorcerer to have it. And finally, I think I was looking at Battering Blast. The reason why I'm looking at this is because I don't really ever take it. It seems like a fun spell though. It's an evocation spell. You hurl a fist-sized ball of force at somebody, you deal some damage, and you also um, attempt a bull rush uh, combat maneuver, which will knock people back and you can even knock them prone. But honestly, I don't think I see myself using this very often, so I'm just going to forget about it. I will take this placement as a defensive spell. For level 4, I'm taking Dimension Door. This is something that can always be very useful, even though... Most of the times I will not be using it, but there are those situations where you are in a very tough position, you need to get out ASAP, or you want to charge into the enemy as quickly as possible, anything like that, and especially coupled with the Quicken Rod, you can instantly Dimension Door your main character or your entire party to a different position to keep yourself safe. So I like having this always as kind of a, a backup defensive plan. There were other useful options here. Animate Dead is useful. <clears throat> Bone Shatter is useful, but again, I would only do this on um, on someone that has spell focus in Necromancy. We would have Dragon's Breath. It also kind of works. False Life Greater, we have Jubilost for this, but we can also get it for our main character to you know get some more hit points on ourselves, freeing up a slot on Jubilost. Phantasmal Killer is cool, but only if I had Illusion Spell Focus. Protection from Energy Communal, same reasoning as Resist Energy. It's always useful to have. And other than that, there's not really anything that I want to have from here. On level 5, my choice is going to be Icy Prison. So we're going to go over this one and what it does. This one targets one enemy creature within medium range. It's an Evocation spell. Lasts 1 minute per level. Saving Throw is Reflex. It's a cold um, type of spell, although that part doesn't really matter too much for what we're doing here, unless I wanted to use like the, the robe of cold to increase the DC of this spell. You try to target in solid ice. If the creature fails its save, it is paralyzed. If the target makes its save, it gains the entangled condition but can otherwise act normally. Whether or not the target saves, it takes one point of cold damage per caster level each round. It is paralyzed or entangled in the ice. A creature can break the ice with successful strength check each round after receiving the effect. DC 15 plus your caster level. So, it's a cool way to try and just take somebody out of the fight. If you paralyze someone, that someone is likely gonna die. Uh, they will keep on taking damage every single round. 
and even if they save against the paralyzation, they are entangled, making them easier to kite, maybe making them take longer to reach your front line, something like that. I think it's a really cool spell, I always like having it, so it's going to be my choice. In terms of other spell selections for level 5, <clears throat> there are some decent choices here. Feeble Mind can be extremely powerful, but again, I'm not going to waste a slot on this on my Sorcerer, unless I was like an enchantment-based Sorcerer. Hungry Pit is an amazing spell, but without selective metamagic I would never use this, it just takes too long uh, for it to dissipate, it gets very annoying um, in how to deal with it, so I just don't do it. Uh, echolocation is something that I would pick and I may pick in the future, although again, since Jubilost can take care of this, I'm not too bothered with it. And finally, Cloud Kill would also be a decent choice, killing swarms. Uh, draining constitution from enemies, stuff like that, while we are also immune, because this is a poison-based spell, it can be very cool. And then we also have Animal Growth, which I believe Jubilost can get. And if Jubilost can get Animal Growth, since we only have a single animal in the party, I'm not gonna spend a, a spell on a sorcerer just so I can use it that one time. So, Icy Prison is my choice, and this takes me back to my spell specialization. I'm specializing in Icy Prison just to make sure that the DC of this spell is higher, making it tougher for enemies to get free of this affliction. That's our level up. We are now level 7 Arcane Trickster, 4 Sorcerer, 1 Vivisectionist. These are our new spells and we are done. So, we're gonna go into the Spider Lair, but I am gonna rest before doing that. As I did spend some spells in the previous location. And I do feel like this area has a bunch of swarms. I think we are well equipped to deal with them um, by having fire bombs from Jubilost. Uh, my main character having... Um, <clears throat> access to fire magic and powerful fire magic at that. So I'm not too concerned. But we do have to be careful nonetheless. Because spider swarms can kill you. Or any swarm for that matter can kill you very very quickly if you aren't paying attention. Oh hello. Uh, I would like to finish buffing before dealing with you. Not gonna let me, huh? Okay. Okay. Let's send Mr. Leopard in. Everybody else can fall back. Actually, can you stay over here? Okay. Because I would like to haste this up before going in. I have delay poison already, which is good. You can cast this. You can drink that while you're waiting. Okay, you can sing. And taking some damage. Okay, go over there. You can go over there. Uh, let's not shoot. Let's instead use something like an empowered fireball here. You are going in, you are going in, you are shooting, you are hasting, okay. <laughs> 73 damage, not, not bad at all. Okay, dead. Dead. <clears throat> okay, so now, I'm not sure if I can still cast my long duration buffs. I can't, good. I was concerned I would have to do it by hand. I also want to heal my leopard for a fair amount. And I think there's also going to be some kind of ambush around here. Uh, okay, so let's go for medium duration. Okay, 
I still have coffee? I do not. I am sad. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Okay. So, our haste is for one minute more. Let's use our mutagens. <coughs> Let's put on armor before I forget again, and let's go. Primal Giant Spooders. These I'm not concerned with. I am concerned about like Doom Spiders and Quick Spiders and stuff like that. Let's make sure they focus on the Leopard here. Thank you. Uh, you can turn this off. Okay. Couple of primal giants. Uh, I'm gonna stay here with my party because I'm, I'm afraid they're gonna start swarming in from this side. Let's just send the leopard in. Here. And see how this goes. Okay, more are coming in from that side. Let's actually use that then. Whoops. Shoot there, you guys shoot there. Okay, they are being annoying, aren't they? Okay, good. We were not ambushed, but there is a, a person over here. Or a corpse, I should say. Wait, what's happening? Oh, I think this was the the, um, the ambush. Once you loot the, the corpse, they come in? Is that it? Maybe? Okay, knock Knock's gonna get hit. Reflex is 15. Let's try and drop him. See if we can. Nope. It is harder to knock down people with, or enemies with multiple legs. Okay, no swarms though, such, um, thus far. Damn it. Thirty-three C magical beast. Uh, let's make sure she focuses on the leopard. Touch AC is twenty-three. I think I'm gonna try and go for a empowered um, <clears throat> scorching ray. Cordon Pina can quite simply we shoot. I would like you to sing. Go in. And you can toss out acid bombs. Oh yes, now we shoot three rays. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Spooder legs. Food. Shiny thing. Arrow guard. Newest to oldest. Baked spider legs. Okay. 5 AC. This plus 4 buckler grants its wielder an additional plus 3 bonus to AC against red attacks. Okay. This is actually better than what I have. It is. It really is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, what I'm wondering is, how good would Dexterity be for you? <clears throat> I think my armor piece only allows one, yeah. So it doesn't make a difference. Okay. I thought the shield was limiting that, but it's not the shield, it's the armor. Okay. 
that doesn't have an entry point. Hello. Another ancient Cyclops coin. And some shrooms. Okay, so. We go this way, we go this way, this way. Oh, come on, you're still gonna force me to go. <laughs> Whatever. All this because I wanna check out this area. Um, I think there's, oh right, okay, you can, you can have this. I think there's only a single enemy here. Mm. Let me see what kind of buffs I have. <clears throat> and I'll decide if I want to rest before going in or not. I'm listening. So you have your armor. So if I try to cast long duration, what's gonna happen? We basically have mage armor and remove fear. If I go for medium duration, we have shields and mirror images, feather step, good hope, blur, enlarge person. I think we're actually okay. <clears throat> to fight some enemies here. We have magic. I mean offensive magic. We have a couple of buffs. We have a dead boar carrying gemstones for some reason. But yeah, I think we only fight like a cyclops type of enemy here. And I think I can make myself kind of safe against it. And, you know, we can even go overkill. Well, not overkill, but we're gonna go defensive here. By going for a guarded earth. Put it over there. I'm gonna give displacement to my leopard. And then the usual, you know, super powerful buffs on everyone. Fine. Displace Valerie, you have that. <clears throat> we have Guarded Earth. I can even summon a Meat Shield. Okay, so I, I want everybody inside the Guarded Earth. Make sure everybody is getting the buff. Alright. Let's sing. This guy has 35 AC. Yeah, I don't expect too much trouble out of this. Famous last words, right? Uh, but basically, I'm gonna have my... Wyvern charge in. And everybody else does not charge in. We just attack normally. <clears throat> I want to put some... God damn it. I want to put some spells on my bars here. Before I forget. Okay. And I'm gonna go for an icy prison on him. I will not falter. Cordum Pina can go for a prayer and try to affect him with. Wait. Oh, I don't have Archon's order, that's right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for a prayer. You are gonna try and drop him. I'm guessing his reflex save is not going to be too good. We're going to use Focusing Surge as well. Okay. I see Prison reflex save, but he is entangled. I'm actually going to try it again. 
How much does he have? He has 11 reflex. He rolled a 40. Okay, had he rolled a 12, he would have failed. Okay, let's try it again then. Pew! Or he just dies. <clears throat> Guarded Earth, just making sure we don't miss, basically. A Psy plus 2, that's a monk weapon, we're not gonna use it. This guy has the Belt of Physical Might, which is cool. I don't believe anybody in our party still needs it. I will check, however. God. <clears throat> Nobody saw anything. I think you are fine. Steady hand. Oh! Pfft, I can just. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, you don't need it. You can most definitely use it. Why do I only have this? Do I only. Really? Do I have nothing better? I guess not. I'll take this then. Um, okay, so the Psy plus two is just this here, it's just a monk weapon. Enhancement plus two, finesse wielding monk weapon, nothing very special about it. And we are done with the Precipice Trail. With this we can leave. And, well, I wanted to keep on going for the direction of the main quest. And I ended up getting kind of sidetracked, but... At least we cleared out all of these areas already. So we don't have to bother too much with this again. Okay. So right now we're gonna go up and then right on to this direction over here. Okay. This will be it for this episode, my friends. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some Pathfinder Kingmaker. We are all very deeply saddened by the death of Jubilost, but thankfully, since we have Divine Magic, he is back with us. And we can expect our next episode to be exploring this region here, and unless something catches my eye in this area, we are definitely going to be going for the Forsaken Mound to continue our quest for the Lost Relic along the Cold Trail and the Varnhold Vanishing, because these are all tied together. Uh, with that said, as usual, if you have any questions, suggestions, anything like that, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. Many more videos coming out soon, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.